M0FXB, welcome back to my videos on the Bofeng DM32. Someone said, does it have APRS and GPS? Yes, it does. So we just go menu, go to, well, you can see GNS settings there straight away. Okay. But if we back out and go into digital mode, we'll go menu, uh, settings, channel set, channel type, digital, then back out. We need to make sure we are actually in digital. So we'll go to one, four, five, because it's on air band, it was staying in analog. They are digital now. So when you go menu, it's all there. You've got your talk groups. If you go into settings and then go channel set, contacts, color code, time slots, DMR number, everything you'd expect of a DMR radio. But because you know they've made the UV32 version of this, which is cheaper if you don't want to do DMR. And you're in analog, so let's switch to the um, B band, shall we? Uh, just brief press on the green one takes you to B. One, four, five, seven, five, zero. So there's an analog. Uh, it says digital, so we go menu, settings, channel set, channel type, and then we want analog. Let's back out. No, no need to back out. So that's our analog repeater. So when you go to menu, settings, channel set, you can set the power, but all the settings are analog. So if we put in there the CTCSS for that repeater just on transmit, which is actually 94.8. Back out. Receive should be on none. Yeah, that's fine. I want that on none. Back out. We don't need bandwidth. Uh, let's have a look. Shift direction, we want a minus. Go down. Frequency offset, we need 0, 0. We basically need 600 there. So we're going to go back with the green button, 600. And that's the right shift for that repeater. We got the shift, we got the tones. So if we back out now, in theory, we should be able to open that repeater. There you are. M0 FXB calling for a contact, Mike Zero Fox X-Ray Bravo. And you can see you got a nice strong signal. There is an external antenna, not the usual rubber duck. You saw that when I transmit, it goes red. And on the receive, it's sort of like a white and a blue. And so if you want to save a channel like this, just make sure that when you do what I just did, that you're in memory mode. So all you do is just hold it down. And then just do exactly the same thing in memory mode. I'll make a video on it now. Bye for now.